I'm actually going to a computer report pretty soon here. You can talk into it. You just talk, no writing. You just talk. Are we ready? Yeah. We are with right. Dwayne Franklin, Blue Moon Home Inspections. He just completed the home inspection for Mr. Robbins for uh, the property that he just made the offer on here in Pacific Mobile Manor, number 33. And uh, Dwayne's going to go through and uh, show us his findings. And then we also have Ken Blossie from Arcadia Real Estate Maintenance and Rehab and maintenance. Rehab and maintenance. So, uh, if, and through any of the findings that Dwayne finds, um, then Ken can comment because he can do a lot of the handyman work and uh, does a lot of the stuff on Dwayne's list. So, we'll go ahead and get started. Hello. Hello. We're standing here in the living room. Uh, this home didn't come with central air conditioning. It came with just a forced air furnace. You see here we've got a window unit in the living room and one in the back bedroom too. We turned it on and it's working. There's no way I can really tell you how long this is going to work. It is what it is. It's uh, built into the wall. It's not really part of the home. But uh, it's working and turning on just fine. It's operating by the remote and by the switches. Okay, good. If you stand by, you can kind of see that our ceiling sags through the whole home. Yep. We went through with our repairman here and myself, and we pushed on the roof. It's really solid. We think that this is all really from many, many years of evaporative cooler. Mm. Has just made this roof sag a yeah, little bit. Yeah, and that's pretty common in these older homes. It's pretty common. The EVAP has been abandoned now and is no longer in use. Mm -hmm. So we'll go through here. It's all ducts and registers, and they're all working just fine. Okay. So we're going to shoot into the kitchen here real quick. We'll start out down here. Down here we have two P traps. We'll never know why they put in two P-traps, but they did. This one here, we can see that it is leaking. It's got uh -huh. signs of leaking. We've got another one way down here. Okay. Can you see it? Uh -huh. That one's leaking too. Okay. So both those need to be doctored up. And our man here will probably talk to you folks about switching this over to a single P-trap so you don't have to worry about two clogs here. Okay. And two points of. Um, is there any damage uh, to, the, to the base area where... No, anything, this is all pretty common down here. There's no okay. real bad water damage or okay. sagging down okay. here. If we look down here, though, we'll see that we have two different types of pipe visible. CPBC right there. Uh -huh. Polybutylene right there. Okay. And it goes up to copper extenders. Okay. I think um, the house probably came with galvanized pipe, is that we can see out at the hot water heater. So anything else we see besides galvanized was probably repair work. Okay, and Ken, um, what's your comment on um, underneath the sink? Is that a pretty easy fix? Pretty easy, probably about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay, so approximate cost on that? $20. Okay, awesome. All right. If we look up here, we can see that we've got some issues up here. Oh, some peeling. Well, it's past uh, moisture damage. Yeah. We see we've got some, it's, it's fairly severe moisture damage up here. Okay. It's all from the past. It looks like they have reskinned this roof. The roof is not original. Okay. Uh, and I think that most of these stains that I'm going to be showing you, because I'm going to show you another one in the back bedroom in the closet, are really all from the EVAP. Okay. I'm sure that the original roof was just atrocious up there from the EVAP leaking for okay. many, many, many years. And so years. it looks like it's been reskinned. It's been reskinned. Okay. And uh, I'm to understand that there's a 20 year warranty on it. And okay. that's from the lady who showed i'm not okay. sure what her name is all right and we don't i don't have any documentation or anything on that but mm -hmm. um it does look like it's been reskinned though it's been reskinned. okay yeah. and then ken um what kind of repair is uh, available for that area up there um talking to Dwayne, probably the best and economical way would be just to clean up all the chipping away uh -huh. and then put new board up over that okay because that's that's up there otherwise you got to pull the cabinets down to mm -hmm. get to it okay and uh you can give us a cost on that yeah all right. Did he get back on that one? Okay. All right. Sounds good. Up here, guys, we have an improperly wired light above the stove. Okay. You can see this, and it's just screwed to the top of the stove. Okay. So there's really nothing safe about this at all. Okay. This should all be redone. And really, this should be even a different light fixture. If you want a different one, a light here, which would be good for you because there's not a whole lot of light in here, it should be a completely different kind of fixture than this. Okay. And uh, we, he'll be able to set you right up with the fixture that will be proper for this area. Okay, sounds good. Now we come into the bathroom. Let's turn the light on. Yeah, just one bathroom in the house. Uh, 
The outlet here is not ground fault circuit interrupted, uh -huh. which uh, is the way the house came. So this isn't something we consider improper. It's something that's easily added. Okay. Uh, it's just a matter of putting in a new outlet here. Okay. And you're going to upgrade your safety greatly. If we look under here, we can see that they've repiped with copper under here. Okay. And you can see it right there. You see our copper pipes right there. Uh-huh. So the bathroom's been repiped with copper. Yeah. Okay. See no leaks in there. Nothing's yeah. leaking in here. Okay. Everything looks good. All looks right. like it's all fairly redone. There's no light in the shower area of uh -huh. the bathroom. Except for the heat lamp. Except for the heat lamp. <laughs> when we turn the water on in the shower, the hot cold is reversed. Okay. Whenever we're at the lowest pressure here is whenever it's on its hot mode. Okay. Then when we turn it up and get a little bit more pressure, this is the cold. So the hot cold's reversed. And I got to do it a couple of times. You're not going to do it every time. But you'll hear a slight hammer knock because the pipes aren't secured in the wall. It's not outrageous or uncommon. But I see it didn't even get it to do it now. Well, the water had been off, so... So you may not hear it every yeah. time. If you hear a little bit of hammer knock in there, that's what it is. The pipe's not completely secured to the wall. And what does that mean? Uh, it means that either the uh, little clip that they secured it to the stud with came loose, or they never put a little clip on there. Okay. And what you hear is the pipe just hitting against the wall. Okay, is there any it damage moves. it can be caused by mm -hmm. that? Uh, long term, with heavy pipe knock, it can damage the joints, because it's moving the pipe. Uh -huh. But this pipe knock is slight, Okay. and uh, from what it looks underneath the sink, it's quarter inch line, so it's probably just one flex line, okay. one solid piece with not All a lot right. of joints. Okay. Uh, I just want you guys to be aware of it. If you do hear a little bit of hammer knock, that's what it is. The pipes are in there loose. It's not an outrageous deal. Okay. Commode's working just fine. Okay, good. Grab this, excuse me. Uh-huh. This is your thermostat for the heater here. You can see it's very, it's an outdated thermostat. But it's working? It's working. This little cover right here, there's supposed to be a plastic cover on here and it's broken. Okay. There's no real on and off here. The way that this gets turned on is purely by heat sensor. When you turn it up, it knows that it's too low, then it turns itself on. Okay. Over here, we'll see a little bit more staining in this back corner. All right, but you did the moisture meter and it's not It's dry, okay. it's dry, yeah. All right. And uh, when we do this, whenever he comes in and does his work, if you ask him to hit that with some kills primer, you'll be able to monitor it in the future mm -hmm. and see if that leak is is coming back. But at the roof all. looks good for now. The roof looks good. All yeah, right. it's been okay. reskinned. Okay. Yeah, and all it's right. a good reskin job. It looks okay. like it was done properly. Okay. Uh, here's our back AC unit again turned on. Uh, seems to be working just fine. Okay. Electrical panels in the bedroom. Everything's good to go here. Okay. The main breaker for this panel is at the meter in the backyard. Okay. So these are just individual shutoffs. Okay. We we'll come here to our heater area. This uh, this area of our heater needs to, a little bit of TLC. It just needs some screws, right? Well, it needs some screws, but you see this isn't attached right now. Okay. See how it came loose? Uh -huh. Now I could probably get it to attach again and right. get it to go. You're going to see that you're going to have difficulty. This is where your filter goes, is in here. Uh, it's an improper filter area. You're going to find it difficult to find a filter that fits right in here. Well, no, because that one fit in there. Be they cut it. Oh, okay. This yeah, one, so... we can see how this filter was yeah. and how they had to doctor it oh, I see. to get it to fit. Okay. So uh, when we doctor them like this, they're really, they're, they're not working the way they're supposed okay. to. Okay. So, Ken, what is your solution on that? A lot of times, places like Ace and all will custom. You have a custom order mm -hmm. filter for that size. Okay. And so. then you, I know it needs two screws right there. Mm -hmm. So that's something that I'll be just need to buy some screws. Yeah. And then Take this. Take apart and yeah. see what's easiest. Yeah. Way it needs some TLC at this area yeah. is really what it needs. Uh, it's not so much that things are improper or bad here. Yeah. You're going to find it difficult to change your filter just because of the hassle you have to go through to get in here. Okay. So a little bit of. Maintenance and TLC here, it's not a big cost. It's okay. a matter of getting in here and just giving it a little bit of care. All right, and that's something you could do, Ken. 
Yeah. Okay. And then, um, but the furnace was working fine. Furnace is working great. Okay. Uh, it's gas fired, so you're going to want to service that every single year. You're going to want the heat exchanger checked every single year. Okay. And what about the water heater? To make sure it stays heater? safe for you. The hot water heater's around on the other side. Right. We'll go around there right now. I noticed there's a little bit of hail damage on the front. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, it's so well. We had a bad hailstorm yeah. in 2010. And yeah. The damage is just dense, though. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing, nothing is, construction, yeah. Yeah. Just aesthetic. That's another reason we know that the roof's been re skinned, because the roof is not damaged in any way. Here's our hot water heater. She's over 10 years old. I think she's dated in the 90s. But we pulled it all apart, fired it up. Everything's working just fine. It's venting properly. Okay. You see a little bit of moisture damage around the flue up there. Again, I think that is from the prior, previous the prior issues. Stuff, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can see here, though, that we have galvanized pipe. Mm -hmm. You see our galvanized here, so we know we started out with galvanized. When you see here, there's no drip leg. There's no what? Drip leg at the gas line. What does that mean? There's a, a drip leg. It's just a little piece of copper pipe that sticks out like this. And it has a piece of copper pipe that sticks down, that points down. Oh, okay. And that drip leg is to catch contaminants. Oh, okay. And uh, it really wasn't code. Back then? When the house was built. But this is something that, um, and the gas man doesn't say anything about it because the gas man checks for leaks. Yeah, and they came out and turned the gas on. Mm -hmm. And everything was good. Yep. There's no leaks, and I don't find any signs of leaks. Okay. But for the inspector now, they're yeah. having us for all gas lines um, point out drip legs. Okay, and that's something you could install? Yeah. Okay. And that's really just bringing yourself up to a standard, and uh, they're telling us to do it now because it should always be done. Okay. When the hot water heater gets worked on, they should do it. Uh, they just won't unless you tell them to. Okay. I didn't get in here. We'll still try to find the key before we go. Okay. I accessed the home in two spots on the left side at the two plumbing areas. Okay. The kitchen and the uh, hot water heater area. Okay. Here's our main back there. This one's you on this side. Okay. You got your house number underneath it, so you'll know it's your number. Yep. You can see here. And this, I'm not sure if this is your issue or if this is a park issue, but we'll see the openings. Oh, yeah. See this the openings is two here? plastics. Yeah, so that's it needs the, little the, plastics. Yeah, so that would be something Ken would do. Because anything um, above the ground is the... Is there uh, a problem? Yeah, it's the resident's yeah. responsibility. Here's your main for your water. Uh -huh. You see the park came with galvanized, so it's galvanized up to here. Uh, the porch on the other side of the home has some railing issues. It's um, weather damaged. Oh, it's all wood. Yeah, we'll yeah. go around over there. Yeah, just give them a wiggle and you'll see it there. Yeah, yeah right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They you just did something again? like that for somebody else, huh, Ken? Again? Well, I rebuilt the whole. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I don't know if this one will need a complete rebuild, but definitely needs some TLC. Okay. All right. Is there anything else? That's it, folks. Overall, pretty good inspection, especially for an older property. It is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. You'll see some strange things like this for the um, vent for the kitchen. It's operated by opening up the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, now it's on, and it'll start, and it'll go. Okay. It sounds funky right now, but I let it run for a while and it's going. Okay. But then to turn it off, you just close it. Okay. And it's closed. All right. Great. Well, um, so we'll get the list from you and we'll have mm -hmm. Ken look at that and then you can give us a quote on everything. Yep. All right. Is there anything else? That'll do it. You folks have a great All day. All right. Thanks, you guys. Bye.